have you gotten me into this time? <laughs> the same thing. We're trying to record last week, but it broke. Oh, right, right, of course. Well, no, what are you talking about? We yeah, totally, uh, this is the first time we're playing this. Oh, hey, gentlemen. Hello. Hi. This is my full-on comprehensive last play of Park Mario for 64. Help, he's kidding. There are many... <laughs> He's that are kidnapped like it. me and he's forcing But this one is mine. He's forcing me to play this. Oh, hi. Okay. Uh, this is one of many games that I love and David hates. Well, hated. Hated. Yes. Uh, we are obvi- so We are 2% why. gaming. Yes. I'm David. I'm John. And uh, here's a little history about this game. I refused to play it during the N64 era. But I, why? I had the Nintendo 64, so I was perfectly capable of playing it, I just di- I just decided not to, because mm. I was a huge fan of Super Mario RPG as, as on the should. Super Nintendo, because yes. it was awesome. So, of course, I was super hyped that they were going to make another Mario RPG, and then it... And then it became Paper Mario. And then Mario. it was Paper Mario, and I was super just salty about that. Uh, looked, I was like, what is this baby shit? I refuse to yeah. play it. So, I... I'm the opposite. I played this first because I never grew up with a, a SNES. But and then I played Mario RPG a lot later. And uh, you know this game, both games have its uh, good points and its bad. Uh, like you said, it's it's a little juvenile, I'll admit, but it still is a pretty good game. It has a pretty good atmosphere. Yeah. For real. A Mario game. I'm a lot less like oh, hardcore gamers. Hardcore yeah. games for hardcore gamers such yeah. as myself now. So first off, there's Luigi in this game. What the heck? Hey Luigi. You weren't in Mario RPG. No, it wasn't. Not really in the 64 ones either. Well, Mario Kart. Yeah. This kind of is. Uh, I would say his first debut, not in a party game in the 64 era. There's plenty of party games. Yes. So, uh, you know, this is obviously style over the 64 castle. Yeah. We're just talking to people. Uh, I just kind of like how they... It's just two-dimensional sprites, but then it's like, oh, wait a minute, they're like paper. They're all flat. Yeah. I definitely get it now. Yeah. In a, in a way, I didn't get it when I was... I don't know, how old would I have been? Like... And there's plenty of games that have done this since. The 2D and 3D plane... Oh. I was like, what is this? I want to play more Goldeneye. Yeah. This baby shit. What is this baby shit? Shiver region. <laughs> I enjoy that there are toads from different regions of the Mushroom Kingdom. Yes. And they're all like, some of them are at the desert place. Some of them are in the cold place. Yep. Also, all the toads have weird pun names. Yeah. Uh, this person is named Tasty, and she is the cook. <laughs> and she's actually become uh, quite a... Useful at PC later. Because uh, food yeah, gives you Yeah, you can cook stuff. stuff later. Nice. So, to give you some context as to what I was playing instead of this, I was playing Super Super Smash Brothers, so that was good. Oh, yeah, okay. I played not one, but both of the shitty Castlevania games <laughs> on Nintendo 64 oh. instead of this. Yeah, because, you know, this... Why play this when you can play <laughs> Castlevania 64? And Castlevania Legacy of Darkness, yeah. I think it was called. The one with the werewolf. Great. Uh... <laughs> uh, the thing I li- You'll notice later, but the thing I like about this game is that the creatures that are usually Bowser's minions are not all Bowser's minions. Yes. This is between bloody revolutions. Yeah. Like, oh, the ones that follow Bowser, they just follow his, you know, horrible, bloody <laughs> coup or whatever. These ones are okay. Yeah, these ones are cool. Yeah. So there's, there's, there's a Koopa chatting it up. You know, you, you never see that. It's like, whoa. It's pretty neat. Uh, so, we actually filmed this last week. Yes. And, uh, yeah. So... <laughs> Uh, word of advice, don't record the game audio and record the PC playback audio at the same time. No, don't do that. That's, no, don't do that. That's uh, a <laughs> you'll lose disaster. Like, you'll lose like five hours of footage. <laughs> <laughs> I love 
guitar is just kind of... Yeah, wow, pretty cute. Okay. I don't know, this game is adorable, but it does adorable well. Yeah. I to say. One of the best parts about Mario RPG, though, is that it's totally just Chrono Trigger, except... Right, yeah. Except with Mario Mar characters. Mario slap on skin. It's pretty... Woo, and you can... Pretty sweet. You can quick dash for speed oh. runs. Nice. I wonder what kind of speed run this has. If this has just like the... This game's pretty long. Quick dash everywhere kind it's of speed not, run. It's or if not it's the like... type of game that you could... It's not like Zelda where you can beat in 10 minutes by like... Quick <laughs> jumping through a wall. Hacking through yeah. the walls. It would be pretty awesome if you could, though. Yeah. I love I love those kinds of. I think this one runs. is a very comprehensive, less, more, like speed run. I think it's like an hour or so long. You yeah. Know? And context is pretty neat, but it's like, eh, it's not too fast. Huh? Yeah. Whoa. Uh oh. What's going on. That was just there the whole time. The whole time. Yep. They brought the whirly gig back. It's pretty nice. Get used to that. Because, mm. you know, not saying anything about spoiling Smash Brothers, but there's going to be some whirly gig love. Ooh. You know, in case you're following the leaks, you know what I'm talking about. The leaks. The leaks. Oh man, that comes out next month. Whoa! Comes out in like three days from in this Japan. recording in Japan. Not to date this recording or anything, but it's September 9th. Yes. So, there. I just dated it. Uh, I gotta pick me up that game. Yep. Thursday. We will both pick up that game. Oh, not Bowser again! Oh, yeah, Bowser's in this. Who else would it be? Yeah. Well, the thing, okay, the, the plus thing I would. Like put Mario RPG over this one is uh, Bowser. Bowser was, Bowser was a party member yes. in RPG. Bowser was just the main villain. That there. was that was the raddest shit. Having Bowser as a party member. Also, Malo and Gino. Yeah. <laughs> Who you never hear from nope, again. Nope. Never heard from again. Different. Apparently, Gino had a very oh, yeah. very slight cameo in like. Sticker Star during a mini game or something. Oh, um, I don't count. I know. Still, it's a. All right. They threw a so uh, Mar Paper Mario's RPG mechanics is very, very simple. Right. Uh, John, do you know about time hits? I do know about time hits. However, I think. Uh, Better watch out, Bowser. He knows about time hits. I think time hits are uh, ability based. Oh. Unfortunately. And oh. I think, if I remember right, in Thousand Year Door, there's timed hits. Like, okay. normally. So you gotta unlock timed hits? Something like that. Gotcha. So I remember in Thousand Year Door, you had to time hit, because it'll just, just straight up die. Especially a lot of hard hitting attacks. Yeah. And Mario and Luigi, later on, the entire game is timed hits. Timed hits, yeah. Like, timed hits, timed what? defense. What? It's a star rod! That's not from this game! Oh! Stole it from he stole it. Kirby. I guess. I guess. Oh man, now he's only three damage. There we go. Yeah, stick that up. <laughs> yeah. So you see, uh, the damage is probably ranges from like one to twenty at the most. Yeah. Uh, the damage deal does go that high, but it doesn't really need to. And it, the game kind of uh, yeah, very small, builds on that mechanic. Very small numbers, I can yeah. tell. Oops. I mean, even uh, Super Mario RPG went to like 999. Yeah. I'm realizing that this game was also made by Intelligent Systems, who mm -hmm. also makes Fire Emblem, which also has very small numbers. Yeah. Relatively small numbers. Yeah. I mean, eventually it gets up to like a hundred at the most, the very most. But usually, Whoa. like thirty damage is pretty good. It's gonna be. A... This is a lot smaller than that. Oh, way smaller. Huh? Yeah. 
You do it. You you're talking about a damage ratio of one, and you're yes. doing it half the damage of the. <laughs> yeah. You know. Like you're doing low damage, but you know, based off the enemy, so you know. yeah. Compared to other other air intelligent systems RPGs, it makes it makes sense. They like very simple uh, systems. Mario Three. Ah, remember that? What? Uh, the fact that Mario Three was entirely staged. Staged. It wasn't real. Um, yeah. Press the Prologue. Press oh the hey! Oh, he's right. Oh, it just starts playing yeah, Mario. Just playing Super Mario Brothers thing. Leave it on. Uh, and the uh, the battle arena when you see it is it's, it's a stage. Oh, okay, because the little action wheel is like a film reel, huh? Oh, okay. If you look at it next time we fight. <laughs> uh, Paper Mario Fast New Door runs with that. In which you, there's a mechanic where there's an audience look watching the fight. Oh yeah, and they, they seen, throw stuff at you. I've huh. seen video of that. Yeah, huh. that's it's, pretty uh, neat. I totally want to play a Thousand Year Door because that's an amazing game. And it's another or game I haven't played. Underrated classic. It's another game I haven't played. And then what about? That was the last good one. And then okay. Super Paper Mario is garbage. <laughs> oh, okay. I was just about to ask. I don't say it's garbage, but it isn't as good as this one or a thousand year door. Like, not in the least. Gotcha. I understand. Oh, look, there's seven MacGuffins we gotta rescue. Oh, good. I was, I was worried. <gasps> oh, no, we're screwed. It's a oh, Goomba. It's a Goomba. <laughs> so adorable. He's pretty adorable. Just all Goombas have those angry Mario? eyebrows, though. Ah. They all look super oh, no. mad. <laughs> oh no! Uh. I have no arms. I can't shake you awake. <laughs> Shouldn't you be like frightened from him? He's like the slayer of your people. It, yeah. Probably. Yeah. I mean, it's only the rebels who, yeah, true. who face the ire of yeah. the iron boot. <laughs> or, or the uh, the hammer and boot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The hammer and boot. Is that like the... The, the communist The iron symbolism regime of the princess... Of Princess Peach. Peach. <laughs> He's a... Uh, Mario's a true loyalist to the crown. Huh? Yes. Huh? Not if you ask Game Explain, though. Right. According to them, he's a hardcore communist. Mm. Which is. Which makes sense with the hammer and boot. Eh? Eh? Okay. Jeez. Days for days. Some Mario's are the coma for like. So, this is the hospital, right? Like, this is the Toad Inn. This toad is the Toad in. House. Okay. This is where you uh, rest. Alright, so I was almost right. Yeah. I wonder if all these. Excuse me. <sighs> and yeah. there's toads everywhere. I wonder if the toads are like the, the missionaries getting sent out from yeah, maybe. the Mushroom Kingdom. Deepest lore. You're gonna. The deepest lore. You should get used to that, because I love looking way too far into stupid bullshit. <laughs> Stupid Mario lore. Stupid Mario bullshit. The deep, you know, deep lore of Mario. Yeah. Eat your heart out, Dark Souls. <laughs> this is the true lore yeah. factory. If Shy Guys were a construct of Mario's imagination, right. why are there Shy Guys now... on Yoshi's Island? Alright. This is Goomba Village. I think we'll take a break right now. Okay. So, Goomba Village next time. next time. Goomba Village. See you later. Next time. Save. Leave it.